What's up, everybody? So let's talk pothos. Pothos plants, they're awesome. Um, several ways you can use these in your aquarium. Uh, one way is, here, I'll get the mess out of the screen. <laughs> um, one way is you can stick these in your filter, or you can just take a pot and, uh, you know, put them in there with some, um, either gravel or I use clay balls like you use for hydroponics. Um, so let me show you the setups real quick and uh, let me flip this thing around to show you the pothos and the filter first. Alright, so the pothos is in here. You guys can see we have a lot of new growth, stuff like this. Uh, back there. Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, when you guys put these in, make sure that you have at least four leaves on one stalk before you stick it in there. Uh, if you don't, it tends to wither away. Uh, you are going to have some strands that do wither away. There's nothing you can do about it. Uh, another thing that you need to be careful for is when these things grow out, you can see the water flowing out of the back there. When they flow out, you just don't want the stalk to be down in there or else the water is going to trickle out of your tank. So don't do that. You guys can see we have all this new growth on here. Uh, this thing's been in here for a couple weeks now, and it's just exploding. So when I started, it was just pretty much this area here, and now I've got all this other stuff coming off. So, pretty cool. Let me show you the potted one real quick. My water level's a little low in this tank. I don't have the lids on it. I've taken them off here recently, so that's why I'm getting so much evaporation. I just did a water change on this tank four days ago, and it's already two inches down, three inches down. So, anyway, you can see the growth on this one here, coming off. I have a lot of new growth. If you get dead leaves like that, just pluck them off. No big deal. Uh, pretty easy to do. And then, on the inside, I don't know if you can see, but I used clay balls in there. So, that's all that's in there. You can see we have new growth coming off of there. And in the back. So, uh, pretty simple to do. You just want to make sure that it always has water on it. There's holes in the bottom of this, so uh, the roots are down in there and they're grabbing. You can actually see the root coming out of the bottom of that thing there. So if you do get dead growth like or dead leaves like this, just pull them out. Really simple. Um, both those are great. They're going to help you reduce your ammonia, nitrites, and nitrates. That's what they feed on. So. Uh, if you don't want to tank actually in your plant, this is the best way to do it. You guys can see how that's wedged in there. Just have it between the light and the edge of the tank. So, it's my shell dweller tank. So, guys. Say hi, guys. <laughs> so, they're, they're starting to spawn for me. It's awesome. And, uh, at any rate, that's uh, what I got for you on Pothos and your aquarium. A couple ways to do it. So, um, getting a lot of growth, a lot of new growth, as you can see here. Cool stuff. This is the rack, by the way. <laughs> Still got to fill in the empty spots here. Uh, lights aren't on on the other tanks yet. It will be soon. Everything is on a timer, so. That's on a separate timer, and that's on a separate timer from the rest of these tanks. So when it comes on, it comes on. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope this helps you out. A couple ideas on how to get pothos in your uh, in your tank. These things are huge, uh, you know, ammonia, nitrite, nitrate collectors. They love it. They feed on it, and they grow fast. So, uh, just a couple ideas for you. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Peace.